Hello and uh, welcome to the Google Cloud Platform Certification Review of the Cloud Architect Beta Exam. I'm Joe Holbrook, owner of Cloud Bursting Corp, consulting engineer, and I'm also a technical trainer based out of Jacksonville, Florida. So I wanted to take a few minutes and go through uh, my experience with the Google Cloud Platform Exam, uh, specifically the Cloud Architect. Uh, I'll be doing one also on the, the beta data ar architect as well, uh, hopefully in the next uh, week or so. Now Google, uh, as we are aware of, um, is uh, coming out uh, with their own certification uh, agenda and, and tests, etc. Uh, they're definitely um, out of uh, the three big ones, the last to the race, uh, that uh, is blatantly obvious. So uh, for those that are already AWS certified, Microsoft Azure certified, then uh, the Google uh, may be on your wish list as well. So the GCP Cloud Architect exam specifically is going to test you at a high and a mid-level mainly around uh, uh, best practices around design, management, analysis, uh, some migration as well. Uh, again, um, we'll get into uh, specifically what was uh, tested uh, then also, uh, I also post the links for the uh, uh, the I guess you would normally call it uh, the uh, exam uh, itinerary, for example, or the JTA. What you're going to be tested on uh, as well. Um, Google calls it the exam guide, essentially. Now the test uh, is $120. Uh, the beta exam is over, but uh, it's still good, worth going through this because the beta exam typically is going to rule out a certain number of questions. Uh, so instead of having uh, 100 questions, you'll get half of that or 70% of that. So that's generally what most uh, vendors would normally do. However, I've not gotten a clear answer from uh, Google Education on that yet. Uh, but uh, if I do, I'll relay that to everyone. Now, as far as um, the testing process itself, that was sort of my biggest concern because I didn't really think uh, Google um, choosing Criterion uh, was really a good way to help promote their certification. Because what it does is it really limits the number of people that can take the exam. So, again, I mean, you know, Pearson and VIEW probably have seven or eight times the number of testing centers and, and locations um, just by me Googling Jacksonville, Atlanta as just a test case. So, um, and, and I will say my experience of getting the exam set up and, and done uh, was was a nuisance. Uh, so um, so you're going to want to take the test uh, at this point, uh, or you're going to have to really be located in a major city like, you know, San Jose or uh, Boston perhaps, uh, or DC, New York maybe. But if you're in any regional cities, you're going to have one choice and uh, maybe two uh, if if you're lucky. So um, again, I had a choice uh, weeks ahead of time. I had a choice of like four hours every couple days at this one community college. So that was my biggest beef was um, just trying to trying to find a time to take the test. Uh, it just uh, the, the testing schedule was just not favorable to anyone that actually has a job <laughs> or, or work or anything like that. So. Um, with that said, here is some other thoughts on my on the my exam experience. So hopefully some of this will help you when you do take uh, the exam. So one of the things I did notice uh, was was that it, it appeared that at least some of the questions, if not, you know maybe seven ten percent, were pretty well rushed, 
or they were probably developed by um, someone that didn't speak English as a primary language. Now I have a fair number of years of test development and uh, content development and I can tell you that it didn't really appear they used uh, best practices. Um, however, um, no offense to the, the developers of the exam, but it, it was pretty evident that uh, there is some room for improvement. Uh, some grammar errors I had noticed. I did make comments on that. Uh, who knows if they're ever going to get read. I don't know. Uh, I did actually uh, I did sort of like the case studies to the, the degree that they did have them. Now there's uh, there was at least two if not three case studies from what I do remember. And what was interesting about the case studies is that they were they were vague. Uh, and, and that could be good, that could be, you know, not so good, depending on how you read into the question. And, and again, I, I don't know if um, some of the case study questions were um, clearly defined and, and, you know, could be answered, you know, concisely. It was almost like I felt like I needed to, to guess uh, what the course developers were asking. So again, um, the, the, the the technical merit was good. It's just I, I don't feel you know that maybe I don't feel like the questions were really developed in a manner that uh, that they probably could have been. Now, uh, as far as uh, the technical review, so here's my thoughts on on the the technical review. So I was surprised that there wasn't a lot of questions on Google Compute Engine. Now Google Compute Engine was pretty much you know their baby. That was pretty much what what you know has been available for quite a while so I was really surprised there, there was really only like you know two questions total now testing on containers uh, again I, I did see um, you know one question on containers specifically and then uh, you'll see as I continue through this there are some additional questions on containers more more around the uh, management and processes and, and migration and availability but as far as specific like what is a container question that was really the only thing that that I seen now Google App Engine um, they definitely tested that pretty heavily I thought uh, so you'll definitely want to know the ins and outs of Google App Engine know what it is know why you want to use it know how to, uh, to to set it up and also know how it's built. Uh, cloud storage. So you definitely need to know the difference between the types of storage. So my take on it was is that they asked pretty uh, pretty consistently around the different types of storage. So you'll need to know cold line, near line, persistent, uh, regional and standard uh, as well. I, I, you know, I don't know the exact number that that I seen on storage alone, but it was probably around ten questions. So, pretty heavily tested on that. Now, as far as uh, getting tested on analytics and and big data, they definitely. Um, wanted to test your knowledge around data proc, data flow, BigQuery, Bigtable, uh, more focus more on the data products and services. Uh, definitely a few questions on backup and recovery, snapshots, etc. Nothing that you wouldn't expect. So uh, there were definitely um, some questions on billing and, and how Google bills. Remember that Google um, you know, is going to, to generally bill like for a VM uh, for uh, a specific amount of time, like 10 minutes, and then by the minute after that. DevOps, uh, they, they definitely had a question or two on that, uh, but it did seem like it was more focused around uh, continuous availability. So again, um, that area there best practices uh, around uh, cloud projects. Now Google, for those that are already familiar with GCP, are already familiar that Google uh, uses projects as their um, you know, top tier um, uh, approach to um, uh, setting up uh, your cloud service. 
So uh, Amazon is, is more focused on regions. Google likes to use projects. And, and if you know the difference between AWS and Google, then you'll realize um, the approach that Google uses with projects. So, uh, so do understand what a project is and, and why it is important. Uh, API management. So again, understand uh, around SDKs, APIs, uh, know where to find uh, an SDK kit, for example. Performance, uh, you know, a couple questions around that. SQL. Uh, they definitely tested uh, your knowledge on SQL and MySQL. Uh, they also um, you know, also I didn't put that in there, but another area too was to, they seem to have a question um, on PHP as well. Uh, not that that's related to SQL, but I wanted to um, bring that up as well. Container management. Now they definitely liked, like, like I said earlier, they uh, they only really had one question on containers overall, but as far as managing the container, uh, that they really liked. They wanted to know that you knew stack driver monitoring, Google container engines. Uh, they wanted to, to make sure that you knew uh, clustering uh, as well. So uh, some areas of focus there. Uh, I did see a question on DNS uh, zones as well as a question on uh, DNS records. Also cloud load balancing and auto scaling. Uh, do uh, do take a look at that. So that was uh, a quick uh, review uh, around Google Cloud Platform. I do wish you all luck. I do uh, certainly hope everybody passes on the first attempt. And happy Googling. Have a great day.